Question 11 is related to integration by parts. It's not exactly integration by parts. We have to know which method we can use to solve these problems. See, we do not have product rule in integration. So we just can't use a product rule to solve them. There are two separate terms multiplied to each other. It is x and sine x is one term and sine x squared is one more term. And you might have remembered in the part two, the writing part, it was explained in detail how we do the, uh, you know, integration by parts. We take one of them as u and then dv and we use the formula integration of uv subtracted by, sorry, it is just uv, subtracted by v dv, this is integral, and then we solve it up. But there is also another way that is just u substitution. So you consider u to be some value and then substitute over here and this dx to du and solve it up. So now let's see which one to do. Now looking at this, I can tell this is by u substitution, not by integration by parts. But as this is integration by parts, how did I tell that? The trick is very easy. Look into the terms. It's x and sine x squared, right? Whenever it is trigonometry, like sine x squared or anything, look at what is the term over here. So over here, we have got x squared. Just derive it. Just derive it in your mind. What is the differentiation or derivation of this? It's 2x. Look at this variable now. Does it match over here? This and this doesn't match. Only the variable, not the number. Number, it's fine. Yes. If this matches, then you have to do u substitution. Why? Because, let me solve this by uh, u substitution. Here, you are assuming whatever is there within this as u, x squared as u. So what is du? du is 2x. du by dx will be 2x. Now what is dx? It is du by 2x. That is dx. Now you substitute over here. What do you do? You substitute this x value as it is and sign instead of x squared you put u and dx will be du by 2x. And now this cancels with this and you take out the, uh, you know, the constants and it will be sine u du and you can solve it up, isn't it? Now it's very simple. Integral of sine minus cos u plus c and over here it will be just minus cos u plus c. Don't forget to multiply the half. So this will be multiplied by half as well. That will be the answer. But over here at the end, we have to put what we have assumed for u. That's the answer. But in this problem, we are not solving for this answer. We are just telling which substitution method you are using. So this one was u substitution, not integration by parts. Whereas look at this problem, second one. Here you have sine x. What is the differentiation of x? Uh, derive d by dx of x it's a one it's a constant and look what's the term over here it's x squared no you can't use u substitution there is no way you can rearrange and solve this up so in this case we have to use integration by parts see now this one just by taking x squared as u you can do u substitution but this one you need to do integration by parts that's how we uh, solve them up now for this particular problem you need to know uh, no matter what, we solve it by integration by parts, okay, when it's multiplied. But even now, if you're thinking, okay, why exactly? It's fine. Now, you take u is equal to ln x, okay, derive it, du by dx is what? 1 by x. Now, what is dx over here, basically? It will be x goes to the other side. x times du is equal to dx. Now, if you substitute back dx, what's happening? You will have x du. You will have ln u and x. It just becomes worse, right? x and x, it becomes x squared ln u. There's no way you can solve this. And the, with respect to du, it's not possible. So when you multiply a uh, natural logarithm with x, it is integration by parts directly. But here, yes, we can do u substitution. Why? Because if you take, instead of, um, you know, ln x as u, sorry, ln x would be u, not u. Uh, x as u, you're taking the entire natural logarithm x as u divided by x. What is dx? x times du. See, this and this cancels, right? 
Now you can solve it up. This becomes u squared by 2 plus c. You can solve it up. We are not going to solve the values. It's just we are just telling what type of uh, integration we are using. This is integration by parts and this one can be done by u substitution where natural logarithm x is u. Similarly, I hope you can try this by yourselves. Now here, whenever we have e, anything we take that as u. Let's take it and check. 4x, can it be u? What will be u4? No, it doesn't help us because we have x cube here. No, this cannot be done by u substitution. What about this? eu, that is u is equal to x to the power 4. du by dx will be what? Derive it. 4x cubed. Yes, this x cubed matches with this. That means it will cancel off. Why? Because du by 4x cubed is equal to dx. So now if I substitute it, it will be x to the power 3. E over here, x to the power 4 is u. So I'll write e to the power u. And du by 4x to the power 3. This is 4. Now this and this cancels. You're getting everything in terms of u and du. And 1 fourth is common. Integrate this. You can solve it up. So we're not solving. We're just telling which, uh, which method. So this one was integration by parts. And this one we can do u substitution. Where you take x to the power 4 as u. So similarly over here, think about these problems by yourselves and then look it up. Now looking at this, see whatever is this will be u, right? 4 by x. Now I know this is basically 1 by x. Whatever is there, you are taking it as u. It's in terms of 1 by x. What is the derivation of that? du by dx will be minus constant as it is. This is 4 by x squared. Now let's rearrange du with, see whenever I get this term over here, now what happens, this x squared can go up, right? But I, uh, what we will do is we'll just take this up, it will be minus 4x. Now this is matching, yes that's fine. Why? Because if you get the right side as whatever is this term, this will cancel off because when we write dx, it will be du by minus 4x to the power minus 2 is equal to dx. So this over here, integral sorry x to the power minus 2 e to the power u du by whatever this term we got at the right side right it'll be minus 4 x minus 2 so this will cancel with this you're remaining with a constant and everything in terms of u now so it's possible to solve whereas over here look at this minus 4x the derivative will be minus 4 there is no way you can get this variable no it's not possible at all so if you can substitute this u and get this similar thing it cancels off you can do u substitution over here um, now here you can u substitute as 1 by x i just uh, i was carried away I, I told 4 by x why 1 by x because this is a constant value so basically what you do is now anyways this is not there to solve but i'm just telling integral x minus 2 it will be e to the power 4 u okay and then dx will be du by we again got 4 x sorry it is just x to the power minus 2 then this cancels off and you will have 4 u du now you solve it up okay because that's 4 is constant we uh, assume only u to be 1 by x because our intention is to cancel out this x term that 4, it doesn't matter, okay? You write it as 4u and simplify. But here you cannot do, you must do it integration by parts. That's by the formula. So we're not solving, we're just telling which methods. If it is solving all the problems in the part A, that is the MCQ part, can be done in calculator easily. Before we end, please remember the difference between u substitution and uh, integration by parts. That is the end of question 11.